and we cannot figure out how to make it have volume. Uh, there's a couple seconds. Yeah, we tried to get him, and he was on his way to Nam's wedding. And that's and over. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Yes. We oh, just need that would have. Well, also, the, but the, also the thing is, I'm not sure if we need it. I mean, yeah. So, I think we're probably good. Although I appreciate the effort. Um, enjoy. It together, okay. Good. Table. Yay! Can we move this in? You can do anything you want. Well, Smash the stage, any. Pete Townsend style. <laughs> I mean, not quite covered by uh, international maritime law, yes. are we? Uh, no. Anything that you want that is not yeah, that is still technically. Yeah. No code of conduct violations. <laughs> so I'm Kendra. Hi, Kendra. Hi, Kendra. And I've got two short things. Both about my dog. Hi, Josh. Hi, Hi Josh. What up? Oh, look, a dog. <laughs> There's a microphone. You have a microphone. You don't have volume from the microphone. Yeah, yeah the mic yeah. has no volume. We didn't want to get you out of the wedding, uh, but I didn't have a tank for this. This one. Okay. I think it they was a last have... minute reschedule. Yeah, it was a reschedule yeah. from the Yeah, except, but we requested it originally on. Monday morning, I think. It may not. It may not have gotten through because the event itself got rescheduled. Oh, oh you requested from on board. Uh, I talked to somebody. I'm not sure, board. but yeah, they said they were going to try and reach out, but they couldn't guarantee it. Uh, you is there a GI? What? Do you have GI? Or do oh, you I, need a mic? I I don't need a thing for that. I, Mike would be fine, but otherwise, I got a perfectly healthy diaphragm. <laughs> Diaphragm rock. Yep. Diaphragm rock. I don't know if the rest of us are that loud, though. True, true. Sure, Oh, Oh, now. Secret door. Kendra? Yes. Did you say your last name? Oh, Ziswick. Ziswick! You can't say it. Oh, it's been oh, like six oh, years. Yeah, 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 but now she's going to disappear. What, what's we the just problem? <laughs> <laughs> We've ruined it all. Too much. Holy feedback, Matt. Check, check one. It's always nice to have good feedback. Wee! Cool. Eight feet online. That's great. Gotta, gotta protect the gun show. <laughs> <laughs> Protect the rest of us from the gun show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet. Uh, I think so. Do you need Popo's and you, Mike? I mean, uh, honestly, probably no. Oh, uh, just maybe? Just we, we might need do, a do mic for. Though? Do you? Yeah, I guess okay. so. Then yes, I guess we do. Because I'll be singing and Joey will be playing the. Uh, would you prefer boom or stick? Oh. I think boom. Oh, sure. yeah. All right. Here's a sticky stick. Sticky stick. Oh, you go boomy boom. Cool. Well, I got a thing to read before I need a boom, so I can stall for time. Check. Is it still off? Probably back to the boom mic. Cool. Thank you, Josh. Thank you so much. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Thank you Josh. Thank you. <laughs> We've got a box. All right, mics. Yay. Okay, just point it down. It'll work. Okay, so I've got a short thing to read. Just take that out. And then I have a short thing to sing. And both of them are about my dog. Because <laughs> I am nothing if not fucking on brand. <laughs> okay. I have a dog. His name is Blue Regard because Blue was too short and lacked flair. <laughs> His middle name is Thompson. I do not know why. True, I gave it to him. Uh, I just have no idea why that was the name that popped into my head. However, it flows, and I'm guessing that's why I stuck with it. An incomplete list of names that Blue Regard Thompson Ziswick can and will answer to. Dipshit. <laughs> Dingbat. 
Dingleberry, that is <laughs> when he is sans collar, and Jingleberry, when he is wearing his collar, <laughs> Booberino, and Butt Nugget. Physically, he weighs a whopping 6.5 pounds, which for my metrically inclined friends is three kilos, roughly. But in my reality, he is fucking huge. A guy came over to fix the oven once, and he said, after I let blew out, that he thought I had a Rottweiler in my basement instead of a Chihuahua. <laughs> Such is his personality. Believe you and me, no one is more glad that Blue is not a Rottweiler than Blue himself. Blue is not what you might call dog social. In his previous life, before I got him, Blue had no doggy friends. He still doesn't, but I like to think we've expanded the range of dogs he will tolerate from none to small and calm only to calm and or small only. He met an absolute half a lump of a dog at a puppy class we went to once when he was 10 years old. Her name was Dottie, she was four, and all of her 65 pound self was entirely engaged with laying on the floor and chilling. She could not do sit but for first to stand. She cared not one whit about the tiny nervous gremlin sniffing about her rear. He settled down within an impressively small distance for my dog and was best friends for all of 10 seconds until a Labrador walked in the room. I still regret not getting Dottie's dad's phone number. I think they could have actually become friends. If Blue had a sexual orientation, it would be solely reserved for his pillow. <laughs> Something I believe he has in common with a certain subset of reclusive internet dwelling men. Only, there's no scantily clad woman printed on Blue's pillow, just an ever decreasing amount of navy fuzz and some splotches where he has bitten, then licked, then humped it over and over again. The cycle of life. <laughs> when he really gets going, it's advisable to remove his collar, lest the activity jangle you awake. <laughs> if Blue had a non-sexual orientation, it would be Akio romantic. This dog is completely uninterested in reciprocation of any kind from any other animal, save people. His ideal relationship is one in which he is allowed to sniff and is never sniffed in return or even indeed acknowledged. Unfortunately, this has proved quite the hindrance to his mother's desire to say hello to any and every dog they meet on walks, as Blue attempts to use sonic bark blast on all his opponents. It is almost never effective on the dogs, and almost always effective on the people. People understand terms like ankle biter and do their best to give a wide berth. Dogs understand that a glorified snack is attempting to scare them off and are duly unimpressed. <laughs> Blue is already closing in on 14 years of age. I've had him for more than 11 of those years, and if I had any say in how dogs age, I would hope to have him for at least 11 more, with the option to renew his leash on life. <laughs> He reminds me that acting your age is optional at all times, that naps are best with company, and that it's never too late to learn a new trick which will inconvenience someone you love. And now I have a song that I wrote um, in the style of a Rodgers and Hammerstein song, or rather, I just rewrote words over top of it. <laughs> it's parody, man. Well, watch your language. I do. I see words go across my head. Where do you put your eyes? Um, no, I mean like. It's like the Wall Street ticker, but words. <laughs> it's helping me win a spelling bee or two. You ever seen the All You Need Is Love number from the old Okay, let's gotta go over here. 
And this adjust? Can I? I believe in you. I have very strong hands. But they are also very sweaty. I don't think that's going to go down. Yep. I can try it. Oh, oh there we go. was that going? Hey. Oh, it was going. Um, a little further up. <laughs> 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 Squirrel. 